What's up guys? Thanks for tuning in. Today we're back with another PSA submission return video. Um, it's going to be a smaller submission but a pretty good one, uh, especially in comparison to that last one that we showed on the channel, the basketball one. It was probably one of my, my worst submissions ever just in terms of uh, the percentage of PSA 10. So this one is much more in line with what I usually expect to see um, from PSA. So I'm pretty excited about that. There's some cool cards in here. Um, there's some low-end stuff that probably should have never been sent, but there's also some nice rookies um, and one really, really big card that we'll get to at the end. So um, with that being said, I do have another one of these submissions coming back this week. Um, you'll probably see that on the channel later this week. Um, and then I should have a couple more submissions coming in after that. So if you guys do like these videos, please like and subscribe. It is greatly, greatly appreciated. And uh, yeah, with that being said, let's get into the stats for this sub here. So I'll put that in the top left per usual. Um, as far as this sub, it's definitely a smaller one um, at 35 cards. And this was submitted at the $25 per card rate. So that's that rate just before PSA closed down last year. Um, it was $25 a card. Some of these are definitely not worth $25 a card especially some of those base rookies that, you know, have kind of dipped in value a ton, as you all know by now. But um, with the market being down, uh, $25 isn't a bad price, especially since PSA is at $18 now. But, you know, it is a little bit higher than some of my other subs that were sent in at 15 So uh, 35 cards, $25 a card. And as far as the turnaround time, this one took a while. It was 16 months from door to door. Uh, so waiting a while and just this... A small little stack of cards, just 35 cards here. Um, it's a long time to wait, but again, this one was more in line with what I expect to get PSA 10 wise. So uh, pretty happy, and I'm okay with the wait if you know I'm gonna get a good percentage of PSA 10s. Um, so with that, the PSA 10 rate ended up being just around 77%. It was 27 out of 35 cards got PSA 10s. Um, so just eight PSA 9s, which is really, really good. Um, there are a lot of paper cards in here, as you'll see, which, you know, can be a little bit condition sensitive. But um, that's it as far as the statistics go. Um, if you guys do like some of these cards and want to purchase them, you can always check out my Inst or my eBay and my Instagram store in the back there, TMN underscore sports underscore cards. Uh, most of these will be listed on my eBay store if they're not going in my PC. Uh, but I do have a lot of PC cards in here, which is, which is pretty nice. Um, and we'll start off here with some 2019 tops. This is just the base Tatis rookie, number 410. Uh, that one got a PSA 9. These are very condition sensitive just because of that blue background. So PSA 9 there. But luckily I did send two of those in and one came back a PSA 10. So this one will definitely go on my PC. Um, I was looking at comps for these and these have gone down a ton in value. Um, obviously he's not playing yet, so um, his stuff hasn't seen the jump from him having a good year, which I assume he will once he comes back. But um, for right now, I'm definitely going to hold on to these and see what happens. But I'll definitely put him in the back there as any Tatis base PSA 10 rookie card uh, is a good one to keep hold on to and see what happens. Uh, here's another one from that 2019 Top Series 2 set. This is the Alonzo PSA 10. Pretty nice one there. Then another guy who is really, really dipped in value. Uh, can't really stay healthy, unfortunately, but Eloy Jimenez, Top Series 2, PSA 10 rookie card. So I did pretty well on the uh, Top Series 2 stuff. Also sent in some, uh, this is from 2020 Bowman. This is the Rookie of the Year favorites. This is just the uh, regular insert. It's It's got that refractor shine, but it's not actually um, any sort of parallel. But this is the Jordan PSA 10, so pretty nice one to get there. Of course, he's having, having an amazing year. Um, definitely the best rookie out of that 2020 class as of now. And we have some 2020 Topps Chrome. This is the Nico Horner X-Fractor. PSA 10 rookie card from those mega boxes. Love the X-Fractors. Uh, they're actually pretty hard to get 10s on just because of those uh, print lines on this pattern. Uh, but this one came back a PSA 10, so pretty happy with that one. Then probably the, uh, the best rookie out of this whole uh, submission here is this Luis Robert. I'm trying to get that refractor shine. You can kind of see it. 
is this is the 2020 Topps Chrome Refractor Rookie Card PSA 10. Another very nice one. Another one that has dipped in value a bunch, but still one I'll definitely hold on to um, and see what he does. I have a lot of confidence in him. I think he's a really good player, so he's definitely one of my PC guys. And that'll be the second card we put in the back there. A couple of really nice rookies. Continuing on with some rookies, move to the 2020 Bowman Paper Rookies. Here's the Kyle Lewis in a PSA 9, so nothing too special there. Here's that same card, PSA 10. Those are definitely cards I would not be sending in now. Those, those paper base Bowman rookies are just not, not worth it in the long run, especially at $25 a card. Uh, maybe if it got down to $10 a card or something, eventually these might be worth it. But here's two Boba Shets, same card, PSA 10 rookie. Also sent in Luis Robert, got a nine on this one. And I also got couple of tens so two for three on Luis Robert rookies not too bad there and then we'll end those 2020 Bowman rookies the paper base ones the low end stuff with the uh, Jordan Alvarez PSA 10 two of those so pretty good on the paper overall out of the rookie cards move on to some prospects from 2020 Bowman here's Robert Palson here's his paper first PSA 10 not bad there. Also sent in his Chrome first. That one got a PSA 9. Next up, Sam Huff. His first Bowman Chrome. That one got a PSA 10. Pretty nice one there. John Diaz. First Chrome PSA 9. So these are some of the... The lesser first from uh, 2020 Bowman. Of course, you never know, you know, which of these guys is going to break out, but it's always nice to get these first Bowmans in, in PSA 10. So here's another uh, Baron Laura, first Chrome PSA 10, just the base, but another PSA 10. Then we have Xavier Edwards, first Bowman Chrome PSA 9. Follow that up with another Xavier Edwards. This is the Mega Box Mojo Refractor. Love that parallel. I think I say that every time, but this one got a PSA 10. So pretty nice one there. We'll move into some of the better prospects from 2020 Bowman. We have this Volpe, Anthony Volpe. Uh, PSA 10, this is his first paper. So a very nice one there. Really good prospect. Obviously, people are really high on him. Here's his first Bowman Chrome, also got a PSA 10 in that one, so two for two on the Volpes, which we will take. And another one of my favorite cards from this order, the Mega Box PSA 10. I didn't have this one in a PSA 10 yet, um, a Volpe, so I'd be happy to add this one to my PC. A very, very cool card there. Um, definitely one that's going to go in the back as well. I think that card sits at right around... $100, $120 maybe, so not too bad. Here's some Jaron Duran. Here's his first paper, PSA 10. Also sent in his Chrome, and unfortunately that one got a 9, although now that I'm looking at it, it does look like it deserves a 9 just based on that centering. That right side is definitely thicker than the left side, but that is what it is. Sometimes I miss those for sure. Here's some uh, Jason Dominguez. This is the Bowman Scouts Top 100 insert. See, he was uh, prospect number 53. This one got a PSA 10. Pretty one, pretty nice one there. Those don't have as much value as his first do, but they're still nice inserts. Same thing with this, this one here, the uh, Spanning the Globe insert PSA 10. Pretty nice one there. And I did send in one of his firsts in this order. This was his first paper. That one also got a PSA 10. So very happy with the grades in this order, obviously. Um, also sent in a couple of Bobby Witt Jr. first papers. Those both got PSA 10, so did pretty well on the paper prospects. And the paper overall, actually. I think I might have might have done worse on the, uh, the, the Chrome here. Here's another Chrome PSA 9. That one's Bobby Witt, again, off-center. Left side is much thicker than the right. 
Um, you know, PSA 9s are not bad, especially with those first Bowman Chrome prospects. You never know who's going to be the next superstar, so always nice to get those graded and slabbed, especially in the PSA 9. And then the big card in the order, the one I was most excited about, the one worth the most for sure, sent in this 2020 Bowman Jeremy Pena, first Bowman Chrome prospects. This is the Speckle Refractor on card auto out of 299. You can see it right there. It's 177 out of 299, and this is a big card. Um, at the time, he wasn't that big of a prospect. Then, of course, Carlos Correa left. Uh, he got inserted into that lineup, and he's had a really good year. So um, this one has gone up in value substantially. I think it's sitting between maybe $800, $900, $1,000. Um, very, very nice. This one will definitely end up paying for the entire order if I do decide to sell it. Uh, I'm not sure if I'll end up putting it in my PC or not. Um, I'll make that decision later, but very, very cool card to have. So um, that rounds out that order there. Uh, four really nice cards there. Overall, again, a pretty good order sitting at that 75, 78, 80% PSA 10 rate, which is what we go for. Um, so yeah, we'll have more of these PSA return videos coming soon. As I said, you know, I'll show you guys every time I get an order in. Um, so if you guys do like these videos, again, please like and subscribe. And uh, yeah, we'll be back with more videos soon. So thank you guys for watching. That's it for this one. Bye.